Hey everyone, Lana Dantica here, yet again. Um, I have a little folio to share with you today. I used a paper collection from Minte Papers called Secret Place. Gorgeous greens and pinks in this collection, and since it's lots of greens and pinks too, I just, well, I love it. And this is the uh, folio and gift box. It's actually I believe. Oh, this tutorial is from Paper Phenomenon, by the way. And this was from National Scrapbook Day tutorial for 2017, I believe. And I used black cardstock to create the box and the folio, and then, like I mentioned, the Minty Papers collection to decorate. It's all decorated back and front. The back has these beautiful hot air balloons. Just love them. <gasps> Lovely patterns. And then here at the front you have, I did two cut aparts from the cut apart sheet. And I added a bit of Nouveau lace to the top of these. And the flowers here, just for a little bit of added. And I added this little flower here so you can see it has a bit dimension, but not too much. And there's actually a pocket on front. Well, at the front, use the photo mat or as a journey spot. This held together with the uh, band. This is a Tim Holtz one, and then I just created this one to hold it together. And this opens up like so, and I really like this V, uh, V triangle-y kind of a shape, I guess because it is easier to actually get the folio out of the box. And that is decorated with pattern paper inside as well. And here's the folio itself. The folio is about 11 and a half inches tall and about 5 inches wide. And since this folio is quite packed or thin, it's not bulky or anything. I didn't add any embellishment besides the paper itself. But in order to make it a bit more, I don't know, oomphy, I guess, I added that Nouveau Glaze on top of those flowers here and the buds and here. And before I covered it with the uh, Nouveau Glaze, I had already added the Spectrum Noir Sparkle, uh, Clear Sparkle pen just to give it a wee bit more shine underneath that. Well, even more shine from the <laughs> Nouveau Glaze. So that's the front and the back is such. This is held together with these Tim Holtz tapes. These, I can't remember what they're called for some reason, but they're really nice and flexible and delicate. <laughs> And you open this up like so, and again like so. So first of all, at the front you have this larger pocket, a photo mat really, which is in spot, whatever one wants it to be. And then a smaller one here. And I created a little tug spot in this one, so you can actually take these and use them as journaling spots or whatnot. Add a photo underneath or tuck it underneath and it will all be held in place. And then you can also add a photo on the back. And then you have this side. I'll flip it that way. You have three pockets here and a larger one behind. Now let's start with these three little ones. I use the 3 by 4 sheets. I'll cut a bunch of and cut these ones out. And I back these with the uh, black cardstock, so it'll be great for photos or journaling. Those are the pockets they live in. And behind these pockets is a larger pocket. And there you have a wonderful, uh, sorry, a one four by six photo mat and a four by four. And you could actually fit two more photos, or at least one more photo, really, in there. We would not be adding too much, but I wouldn't add 
Not more than that, I think one for two will be enough. And then you have this side. That's basically the same thing. Three photo mats or journaling spots. Back with the cardstock and then again the pocket behind here. One three by four and one four by four. And then just to show you the centre of it, you have like an open envelope kind of a sign pocket. And you just flip these two up, then you can access whatever you want underneath here. And of course here you can add more loose photos. I just created these smaller photo mats. This would be great for to add an actual photo here and another here if you want it. This is great for journaling or photo mats. Same goes well, these are all three by four and smaller. And here I printed a a little photo map that I just put the black cardstock on the back and then added li this little uh, what do you call that? A tab, tag, a spot for like journey like the date or something like that. Then you can add a smaller photo here on top and then another smaller photo in here. And you just tap them like that and then you just fold it to here and here. great for using on its own. It's great just as that. And then you can also keep that in this box when you're not using it or flipping through it. And that is it. So thanks so much for watching and see you later. Bye.